to contextualize a little bit is your experience because you really lived all over the world. You grew up in Bangladesh, in Silet City. Yes. If I'm right. All right. Then you got a full scholarship in the former Soviet Union in Moscow in 1981. Yes. You started your bachelor's up to a PhD in electrical engineering. You even experienced the dismantlement of the Soviet Union yeah. with Gorbachev and Yeltsin, and ultimately you decided to come to Karana in 1998. Yes. <clears throat> and to contextualize a little bit why, because it was interesting actually for you also to stay in Russia because there were a lot of opportunities also in terms of business, but you decided not to, and it really had an ethical reason. Yeah, thank you very much, Yannick. Well, it is always a pleasure. And you being my colleague and friend, it is an immense pleasure all the time to discuss our, our past, present and future. Yes, I was born in Bangladesh. And how nicely you have pronounced my native land, <laughs> Silhet. Yes, fantastic. Yes, Silhet is a... You see, I'll come back to the connection with Silhet and Nemeska. I find so many similarities uh, in my village home or the remote communities where I grew up in my early age as a young, um, young boy. So, yes, I, I, after finishing my high school, I, I was fortunate enough, you rightly mentioned that I got a scholarship to go to Soviet Union to study electrical engineering. And the, our country was just um, uh, got the independence from former, I would say, it, we were at that time Pakistan. So East Pakistan became Bangladesh. It's a long story to talk. But the purpose of going to do the electrical engineering, like many of us, with different engineering, medicine, physics, math, many areas of uh, areas of uh, specialties we, we did. Uh, but I again, I was really fortunate. I got the opportunity to study in Moscow, and Moscow Power Engineering Institute, one of the one of the most really the MIT of Russia. <laughs> yes, Moscow really. Power Engineering Institute. You 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 rightly mentioned this. So yes, and I was also in a way. <laughs> it was uh, it's it was nice that I saw the rise of Soviet Union. I went to in 1981, when Soviet Union was doing very well in terms of uh, in, the, in, in the world, in terms of the, their connection and their ideology. All those things were working very well. But unfortunately, it did not, uh, they could not sustain. And uh, in 1989, you know, in 1989, uh, everything collapsed. That's why knowledge 